Well, May is Mental Health Awareness Month. That's right. Today in Cedar Rapids, Tanager Place held what it called a Youth Mental Health First Aid Class. And KWWL's Michelle White joins us live now with that story. Well, Abby and Colin, uh, Mental Health First Aid is a national course to teach anyone who works with 8 to 18 year olds how to become expert observers and to spot kids in mental health distress. Live, laugh, love, all the hallmarks of a healthy life. Instructors say anything that interferes with the ability to do those three things at home, at school, or socially is a sign of mental health distress. The steps of youth mental health first aid are to assess, listen, provide assurance, reassurance, and encourage support. That support can come from a professional or it may be teaching them self-care, such as doing something they love. If it were to go into a crisis situation, if it were to escalate to that point, then you as the first aider would stay around until the first responders, kind of like when you give CPR um, to, when you come to a crash site and you give CPR, you, you stick around until the professionals get there. Many police and paramedics are also trained in youth mental health first aid. There are other professional resources for parents and teachers. Tanager Place and Foundation to Crisis Center are two of them. And Abby and Colin, both the instructors I spoke with are also behavioral health caseworkers. They said they've seen an increase in calls and cases since COVID began, mostly involving anxiety and handling emotions. But also all that screen time as students are working from home can make ADHD even worse. I'll have more on that story at 6 o'clock. Live in Cedar Rapids, Michelle White, News 7, KWWL. Michelle, thank you. And Tanager Place offers the free youth mental health first aid class four times a year. The next one is coming up in June.